Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein, quick hitter edition, breaking news out of Chicago. One of the true OG legends of the Chicago outfit, Joe the Builder Andriaki, is dead, uh, passed away this last weekend at the age of 91. Um, I'm told he died in his sleep. This is, uh, you know, one of the last links to the golden era with Ricardo and Giancana and Ayupa and Jackie Cerrone and, and, and so forth. Um, you know, his legend preceded him. He's a guy that was famous on Rush Street. For anybody that lived in Chicago or is from Chicago, I lived there for a decade. That's the spot you go. That's the nightlife spot. That's where you go for the good food and uh, the the good clubs and the good atmosphere. And uh, that was his stomping ground. And and it was rumored that he had a piece of the Rosebud restaurant franchise and could be seen at a lot of those big Rosebud um, uh, spots, kind of at the bar, holding court. A uh, guy that held uh, every position you could hold in a, a LCN organization, Joe the Builder um, held. Uh, went from soldier to uh, capo uh, on, on the north side to street boss, acting boss, underboss, conciliary, um, and just, you know, the consummate gentleman gangster and, you know, kept his head low, mild-mannered, Cousins with Joey Lombardo, who was not mild mannered and did not keep his head low, so I guess they kind of balanced each other out. Um, and he dies, still a suspect in the last major Chicago mafia hit, um, the two thousand summer two thousand six kidnapping and killing of underboss uh, little Tony Zizzo, who disappeared. Uh, on his way to Rush Street to meet Joe the Builder uh, and allegedly to meet Joe the Builder and uh, then acting boss Bat Mike Sarno for a sit down. Uh, never made it to the sit down. Andriaki was the one that brokered the sit down that was never to be. So he dies a suspect in, in the Zizzo hit. We still have never found Tony Zizzo, his remains are um, either they don't exist and he was incinerated or he's buried somewhere and we just haven't found him. But uh, that's kind of the one maybe smudge on, on Joe the Builder's uh, resume, but it, you know, never took a pinch for it, but he's got to, you know, die with that being, you know, part of the obit. But other than that, you know, he traces his rate, his, his roots back to the way a lot of the guys of his era came up uh, in burglary crews, um, he was a safe cracker, uh, came up doing that kind of stuff with, with no nose to Franzo and, and Joey the Clown Lombardo. Uh, and they were in some ways like a triumvirate of these are the future leaders. They were kind of dubbed that in, in the seventies. And then it, it came to be in, in the nineties and forward. So, uh, Joe, the builder, Andriaki dead at 91, uh, go over to the Patreon and I'm going to. We've been rolling out the Patreon this last week or two. It's exclusive content. You're still going to be getting YouTube. You're still going to be getting the quick hitters and the interviews and, and, and all the cool content you get there. But we're going to be doing a little bit more analysis uh, over at Patreon. And I have a little nugget of information that I've never shared that I recently got my hands on that sheds a lot of insight on the last 10 years of Joe the Builder. Uh, Joe the Builder's final chapter. And I'll just say it. it isn't what we thought it was. So check over at the Patreon. Please like, subscribe, uh, YouTube. Check out Gangster Report, our uh, companion web magazine. And I'm Scott Bernstein here at OG Pod. Under, uncovering the Underworld. I shout that out to my, my producer, Benny, who came up with that. That's what we're doing at OG Pod. Breaking news um, every day uh, across the continent of North America, whether it's OG Pod, Gangster Report, uh, or our Patreon members only. That's what we do here. That's what we love to do. Scott Bernstein, see you next time.